Hey, pet lovers. So it can be really difficult to find a pet sitter you trust and also affordable, right? Uh, pet, pet daycares can get very pricey. That is where Sarah Bell, founder of Happy Tales Pet Care, comes in. So she, of course, is a lifelong animal lover. Not surprising there. She is also an animal mom. So she knows how important it is to find someone trustworthy and reliable to care for your furry friend or feathery or scaly, I hear too. That's right. You've covered it all. Covered it all. Well, welcome. It's great Thank to you. have you. It's, thank you for having me. You made my day when your little <laughs> picture with your, I think it was a dog, it popped up on my Facebook feed. Yes, yes. And I was actually in the market looking for a dog It was sitter. perfect. Still am, Meant by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so cool. Tell us the story behind you starting yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've been dog sitting, animal sitting in general um, since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. um, it really picked up during COVID and post-COVID uh -huh. when people got pets or were home with their pets all day oh. and they're going back into the office. So they need someone, you know, to stay with their dog, whether it's to walk them, take them sure. on a potty break, people are getting back into traveling. Yeah. So it's it's easier on the on the animal to have it, you know, stay in home, yes. less less anxiety, less nerves. So that's where I come in. I watch your dog as if it were my own, your cat, your bird, axolotl, whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, and it yeah, it really picked up uh, post COVID. I you know. It's so interesting, as just as people experienced a lot of anxiety, so did animals. Yes. So yes. much changing yes. around them. Animals don't understand no. what's going on, but they can sense our energies. Mm -hmm. So to think that, you know, animals too get anxiety. They do. When sure. their owner goes they sure away, do. they don't know when they're coming back. Yep. So I was not aware that this was a thing yeah, yeah. until I learned more about it. I know a lot, a lot of people um, take their dog to a kennel, which is totally fine. Mm -hmm. A lot of dogs are okay with that. But there are dogs that are nervous, just like people. Sure. They um, get other animal anxiety. They do, they do. They hear dogs barking in the kennel next mm. to them at 3 a.m. So it's different when they can sleep in their own bed, sure. eat from their own food bowl, go out into their own yard. Um, it really just eases their anxieties and the owner too, knowing that they're in a safe space, they're in yeah. their home, their home is being taken care of while they're gone too. Well, congratulations Thank on you. getting your business going. I also love that you're a woman-owned business. Yep. You know, for Women's History Month, we want to just applaud you for that Thank huge you. accomplishment. <laughs> You've had some interesting requests. I sure have. Let's talk about the cow. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, I mean, on top of dog, and cat sitting. I'm actually watching a bird right now, um, an African gray parrot. I also have watched axolotls. And recently I got asked to watch a cow. Um, no small lifting there. No, and I mean, we are Iowa. It's, it's farms and it's not surprising <laughs> so to Iowa. me. It's, it's, I unfortunately can't because I'm booked that week, but right. um, I thought that was a really, really awesome request and, and maybe one day I'll be able to. <laughs> hey, you know, take yourself to the next level. Why yes, not? exactly. I think, you know, every animal needs just a person, yes, companion. Yes, exactly. And I find that, I find what you do very curious yeah. because, you know, I would think you have to be a lover of all animals yes. to not get, like, uh, yes. scared of them. Yes. I couldn't do snakes. Yeah, no. I couldn't do anything yeah. scaly or Yes, claws. yeah. The, I think the one thing I couldn't do is a tarantula. I think everything else <laughs> I'll be fine with. Okay. You have that an iguana, a snake, open sure. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Where do people find you? How can they get Yeah, in? so I have um, a Facebook page, um, Happy Tales Pet Care by Sarah. This is um, so cute, by the thank way. Thank you so much. My email is on there. You can message me, email me, message me on um, Market, or excuse me, Facebook. Um, they can contact me on there, tell them about my rates, my flexibility, mm. my schedule, and we can go from there. We have geese on the roof. If you hear that coming I wonder through. what that was. We have a lot Maybe of geese. Maybe they need a pet sitter. I, they might. They're not very friendly with us. Maybe you could be the goose whisperer. I could be. I think Who our knows? whole team would appreciate <laughs> that. Um, um, what is something that you have learned through this experience of starting your own business yeah. and, you know, navigating other yeah, pets? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, really being aware of the pets, you know, personality traits, you know, again, they're just like, they're like people. They have their own personalities. Yeah. They have medical issues mm -hmm. too sometimes. So really getting a full history of the animal beforehand, doing a meet and greet, um, making sure I know if they take medications, how to administer them, yeah. when to administer them. Sure. You know, being attentive if a dog is having an issue, knowing, okay, this this dog is having an issue, I need to call the owner. Yeah. I need to take him to the vet. Um, so their life is in your hands. Their life is in my hands. You know, yep. when, they're, when their owner is gone, that's my dog, that's my cat. Mm -hmm. um, so really being, you know, open with the owner if something is wrong, just being attentive to their needs in general. Sarah Bell, great to have you. Thank you so much I for having me. I love what you're doing. 